everybody and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i did a wig review but i'm back <laughs> i have not honestly i have not been wearing wigs because it's just too hot in south carolina i can't i simply cannot that's why i have just been rocking my crochet but i was a second time wig types winner Here's the proof YouTube giveaway. So for all my people out there that's entering their giveaways and you're not winning yet, keep the faith, you will win. This is my second time winning. So it says I won the Ultra Synthetic I Part Swiss Lace Front Wig, which I'm wearing now. And this is Stevie in DRFF Face Framing for Champagne. Okay, and it says we want to take a moment to express our appreciation for your time. Have fun and slay away wig type. So that's that. And also in the box that she sent was some little um, samples. This is a curl kicker, which I'm ex excited to use because I've been looking for something to enhance my natural curls. Um, this is a black and Castor Flexseed Oil Styler. That's that. And then we have two of the Blue Magic um, Hair Grease. This one is olive oil and this one is carrot oil. And I'm also, I'm also excited to try these as well because I do use the blue um, one of the Blue Magic. And I thought that was just a cute touch to put in the box. So thank you, Din Din, for that. And so now let's look at the stock card. I won't be going into great detail about this wig because she already reviewed it. So I'll leave her review down at the bottom along with um, the video where I won. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so this is the Lace Front Ultra um, Stevie wig on the model. And on the back, of course, it gives you the wash and care instructions. And my first impressions about this wig is yes. I love it okay I really do love this wig however this is my first time trying this light blonde here with they call it champagne and I feel like it washes me out a little bit like it's too light for my skin tone I guess I don't know I feel too too light bright in it so let's do a lens check so it hits me right about here on my boobs and I'm going to give you this is the parting space I didn't do anything to the parting space I can't remember if she did or not but you'll see that in her video if you want to check it out. Um, I did not add any, um, any uh, what you call it, powder to it, nothing like that. I just put it on and honestly went on about my business because she already cut the lace and everything. It did tangle. I wore this out too. I went to another trap and paint and as you can see it does tangle. So just keep up from, um, for that. But it's a synthetic wig. All synthetic wigs tangle. So... I mean, hey, I'm not sure what this is, what the price is for this wig, but I will definitely research it and leave it below. But yeah, that's about it for Stevie. I mean, she reminds me a little bit of um, Valentino, which I have not gotten yet. And which one did I have? I didn't get Valentino. I had, ooh, what's her name? I don't know. I'll insert a picture of who she reminds me of. It was a free trust equal wig, I think. But yeah, and she cut this um, lace to perfection. I love that. She did that. But anyway, that's about it. Um, I did receive some shedding from this unit, but it was so small. Nothing to rant and rave about. Um, I would say it's like... Because I'm not sure if she adjusted the straps or not. But this fits very snug on my head, so I would say it's about a medium cap. Um wig and I think that's it but I did love Stevie she um she killed it for tonight and yeah but on, the only con I would say about this wig is the color I don't think that it goes with my skin tone too hot so yeah and if y'all see anything all over my fingers it's because of the trapping paint I got paint all over my hands like a big kid but anyway that's about it remember to like share comment and subscribe and remember love it or leave it bye